Hey, how's it going guys? It's your boy, Whirlimer4. Today we're going to be taking a look at some Elden Ring glitches. We got a total of eight glitches. They're all fairly simple and easy to do. Five of those will be held at the mausoleum entrance or close to it. Two of those will be at the mountaintops of the giants and one will be in the depths of the deep root. With that said and done, without taking too much of your guys' time, let's hop straight into these glitches. Okay, our first glitch will be starting off at the Dynasty Mausoleum entrance. Make sure you have a set of grace here. Once you're in, you're gonna to wanna to turn left, jump down this cliff, and call on Torrent. From there, you're gonna just wanna follow my path. To this tree. Once you get close to this tree, all you're gonna to wanna to do is run up the tree and double jump to this rock. I'm gonna show you guys in slow motion. I double jump right here, try to get as much as I can from it, and I land on this triangle rock here. Then I gotta scale this mountain, get past this tree. Once you're past this tree, keep following my little path here all the way to this special triangle rock peeking out. Once you find this rock, all you're gonna to wanna to do is face towards the outer edge and double jump off the edge. Once you double jump, all you're gonna to wanna to do is keep swinging your right hand stick continuously for about two minutes. Once two minutes are up, you're gonna realize you have gained about 200,000 runes. Now this could differ if you have the pickled foul foot or if you are on like a new game plus seven or two, you get more runes for that also. Personally, I haven't progressed yet. I'm still waiting for that DLC to drop, so I'm not gonna progress until after that at least. But once you're done, all you're gonna do is call back to your side of grace and repeat. All right, that was a pretty easy glitch number one. Let's hop on to glitch number two. Okay, for our next glitch, we're gonna be at the same location, the Mazda dynasty entrance once you're ready are going to want to do is turn left and jump off this cliff once you're off this cliff call on torrent and then follow my path typically you want to stay on the right to avoid summoning this monster but i just cruise right through it to show you that there's this white tree you want to be on the left and you're going to want to look at this specific wall i'm looking right in front of me this is where you're going to do the glitch you want to jump on this rock right here you're going to want to double jump on the second rock and then to this third rock once you're in this little crevice you're going to turn around and then jump onto this other rock on the other side you're going to realize this is too tall for you and you're going to jump on the side and then on top of this rock and then you're going to want to start to jump the mountain once you jump the mountain you're going to see this little pit right here little hole you're going to want to get ready and then jump into it you can jump into this hole at least once twice will be okay also but you want to at least get one jump in it's different from the other ones but it's actually okay in this one spot right here here. Once you jump in, you're going to want to keep swinging your arm continuously for at least two minutes. Once those two minutes are up, you're going to realize you at least have 200,000 runes. And once you have all those runes, all you're going to do is open up the map and go back to the side of grace and then rinse and repeat. That was a fairly simple glitch, I hope. With that one done, let's move on to our third glitch. On to our third glitch, we will be starting at the Dynasty Mausoleum entrance. We're going to do the same thing, turn to the left and drop off this cliff. Once you do that, you're going to call on Torrent and follow my path. And if you notice where I'm going, I'm actually going to the other side of the the tree where we just did our last glitch there's another spot you could actually do on this other side that i'm going to show you guys right now all you're going to want to do is come to this right over here and double jump you're going to catch this ledge and then catch the second ledge all you're going to want to do is turn look at the tree and double jump you see i missed it the first time but i made it the second time super easy and then jump on this rock formation i'm going to show you guys this in slow motion missed the first time sadly but i go for a second time i make it very easily on this tree and then i jump on these rock ledges super easy then all you're gonna want to do is make your way up super easy and you could fall in the pit again if you want to or if you want to get a little easier spot for yourself all you're gonna do is come to the edge and jump off anywhere basically and do a double jump once you do that double jump make sure you're continuously swinging all the way down for at least two minutes once those two minutes are up you're gonna see you at least have 200,000 runes once you've collected all the runes all you're gonna want to do is call back to the side of grace and rinse and repeat see you got a pretty easy glitch in with that done let's move on to our fourth with our fourth glitch being at the dynasty mausoleum entrance side of grace when you spawn in instead of taking a left you're gonna want to take a right up these stairs when you're running up here you're gonna notice some zombie looking freaks all you're gonna want to do is run past them you're gonna want to turn left and then you're gonna drop down make sure you follow my path because if you fall down correctly you won't take any damage then all you're gonna want to do is call on torrent and then follow my path to this black tree when you're at the black tree all you're gonna want to do is walk up it and then jump kind of to the right and then forward to like get past the barrier so you get further up the tree when you're up the tree you're gonna want to call on torrent you're gonna want to look to your right you're gonna see this pointed out triangle of a rock. All you're gonna to wanna to do is move toward to the right and then double jump onto this rock. Once you do so, you're gonna to wanna to just keep scaling this mountain, follow the way I do.
you're gonna get to a point you're gonna see the edge of the mountain all you're gonna want to do is jump around the mountain because there is an invisible barrier that you can't jump through so you're gonna have to jump around once you do that keep following my path till you get to this edge when you get to this edge all you're gonna want to do is look forward and then you're gonna want to double jump off the edge and continuously swing right for about two minutes until you get your runes which will be 200,000 or more depending on what you have on you or if this is a new game plus and when you're done with that all you have to do is call back to the side of grace and do it again and make sure you keep stacking up them runes but with this glitch successfully done let's move on to our next glitch okay on to our fifth glitch we're gonna be at the dynasty mausoleum midpoint this time and this one's gonna be a little bit of a parkour but it's still simple and easy to get into once you get the hang of it so once you're at the side of grace all you're gonna want to do is turn east and go over to this ledge once you're at this edge all you're gonna want to do it is slowly move forward until your character drops down if done properly you will land on this other ledge beneath you all you're gonna want to do is go to this edge of the rock once you're there you're gonna want to jump once you jumped you're gonna want to turn right and you should land on the bottom here of this rock so i'm gonna show you guys in slow motion i get to the edge of the rock i do a jump i turn right and then i fall right here and then all you want to do is run up the edge of this rock if done correctly you'll start to slide and then you will catch your bearings you're gonna see yourself move forward a little bit and that's when you're gonna want to jump if done properly you will land over here and not die and then all you have to do is drop down if that was easy for you comment easy and let everyone know you guys are true elden ring parkour players but once you're down here all you're going to want to do is look at this black rock don't touch the edges because they will glitch you out and all you're going to do is jump on the black rock and follow my path if you follow my path you're going to realize when you're on these white rocks you can't summon torrent but if you see these shadowed rocks once you jump on them you can call torrent you're going to want to do that because you're going to have to jump this gap right here make sure you double jump land on the white rocks and it's going to de-summon torrent that's okay Okay. All you're gonna have to do is look over here you're gonna see that shaded rock over there all you're gonna want to do is run towards it it's okay everything's gonna turn invisible the rocks are still there you won't fall through the map just make sure you jump over onto that rock and then keep moving forward you're gonna be able to summon torrent again do so follow my location to this pit right over here. You're gonna wanna get inside the pit as far as you can go and make sure you jump once into this pit, at least once. If you don't jump and you just fall in there, you will, you will fall endlessly and you'll have to redo it. But if done correctly and you're falling and you could swing, make sure you're continuously swinging for at least two minutes to get all the runes, which should be over 200,000 runes. And once you've gotten all your runes, all you're gonna wanna do is call back to the side of grace and then rinse and repeat. Okay, five glitches done. Let's move on to our sixth glitch at another spot. Our sixth glitch will be taking place in the deep root depths the side of grace will be the finger reader crone when you spawn in all you want to do is look to the finger reader you're going to want to go right in front of her and start edging off this edge ever so slightly until your feet actually kind of levitate so as you can see i'm slowly pushing forward i don't want to move too fast because then i will fall off obviously but right around here you can see i am off the edge i call on torrent torrent's basically dangling off the edge this is perfect you want to look forward and then you're going to double jump so i jump wait a little bit and then do my second jump i'm gonna show you guys in slow motion i jump i wait i kind of fly down a little bit and then i double jump again when i finish double jumping i continuously swing my right hand for about two minutes this one's a pretty easy rune glitch doesn't give you as many runes you'll get about 60,000 runes every time you do this glitch but it's quite simple and very close to you so that's why i put it in here and then all you have to do to return back is go back to the side of grace but with the sixth glitch done let's move on to our other two okay the last two glitches will be held at the mountaintop of the giant these are two pretty simple glitches starting off with the first one but the side of grace you want to be at is called the giant's grave post once you spawn in all you're going to want to do is call on torrent and follow my path pretty simple path and there's not much to it make sure you keep running past all the enemies Once you get over here, you're going to see this decayed looking giant. All you're going to want to do is get up next to him. And you're going to see this ledge. All you're going to want to do is double jump off it. I'm going to show you guys in slow motion. I get all the way to the edge of the ledge. I jump. I hold off on my second jump for a little bit. And then I do my second jump.
If done correctly, you should be able to fall down and get a bird's eye view just like this. Make sure you're continuously swinging your right hand. After about two minutes, you should acquire about 100,000 runes. I think that's fair for only a little travel and a pretty easy setup. But then once you're done collecting all the runes, all you have to do is travel back to the side of grace and rinse and repeat. With this glitch done, let's move on to our final glitch. With our final glitch, you're going to want to come to Ordina, liturgical town, side of grace. Once you do that, you're going to call on torrent and follow my path just around this castle all the way to the top. This is super easy. All you're gonna to wanna to do is keep running. And when you get to the edge, you're gonna to wanna to double jump off. So I'm gonna show you guys in slow motion. I get to the extreme edge, I jump, and then I double jump again after waiting for some time at least. And then I start to continuously swing my sword. If done correctly, you'll start to fall through the map. And after two minutes, you should start to receive runes. You should get over about 85,000 runes every time you do this. And remember, I don't have any gold pickle foul foot on, or I'm not even in a new game plus yet. So I'm getting the bare minimum. But when you you are done all you're gonna want to do is call back to the side of grace and do it again for as many runes as you want for as long as you want okay that's the video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did i wouldn't mind if you guys leave a like and subscribed but i do plan on showing you guys more glitches to hopefully get you ready for the new dlc coming out but with that said and done it's your boy worldly number four and i'm out peace